Hi, this is Andy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be tackling two shelves that were part of a piece that was given to me for free in Facebook Marketplace. Last week I flipped the bottom part and today I'll transform the upper part. It's not even a piece of furniture, I'll transform it into one. After joining both shelves with screws, I started sanding the shelves with 100 grit and my orbital sander. It is not real wood, just particle board with an old fashioned veneer. These shelves had lots of holes that were used to connect them with different pieces that were sold separately. Some holes had rubber dowels in them. I'll start by mixing some strong wood putty to cover the holes and filling some gaps in order to make it look more like one piece. After that, I sanded with 6 degree to get rid of the excess putty. I know 6 degree is coarse, but this putty is really hard when dry. After sanding the excess, I used my orbital sander with 120 grit to smooth everything up. Then I started making the base. I want to turn this piece into a bookshelf. Again, I'm using my hand saw to cut everything. I received lots of beautiful comments about flipping without fancy equipment and great shops. I mean, I do everything in my apartment. That's my balcony and my living room. And you just really need your hands, imagination and your work. I mean, if I can, everyone can. Here you see me cutting the four legs of the new base, and sorry if the tripod moves, but I was really concentrated in cutting, and I didn't realize that the tripod was also on top of the purple cloth I had on the floor, and everything moved. As I'm working indoors, it's very important to vacuum constantly. I used an angle of the miter block to cut the front legs of the base. After that, I went outside and smoothed all the pieces with 180 grit. Now for the base, I decided to use this cheap guide, but it was a disaster. In the previous video I commented that I decided to drill the pocket holes manually. As I did that piece after this one, you can see me here experimenting with this thing without knowing the outcome. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of myself manually doing the pocket holes. I'll leave a link to the previous video in the description. 
Here you see me applying some wood filler to a hole caused by those awful pocket holes. I decided to stain the base with an oil-based stain in American Walnut. If you are still here and enjoying the video, consider liking and subscribing. In the description you'll find ways in which you can help this channel grow. I would like to thank Connie for buying me coffee. <laughs> thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You don't know how happy you made me. I have great ideas for the future and this is pure encouragement. The previous week when I was walking Milo, I picked some wood flooring that someone left next to the garbage bins. I think that it is an amazing solution to put at the back of the bookshelf, and it saves me lots of money because I had the intention of buying textured plywood. I measured and cut the planks. I used the first one as a guide for the rest of the pieces. While I was doing this, I wondered how do some YouTubers do to appear always clean and fresh and elegant? Flipping furniture is so dirty. Here is a shot of the piece with the base and the back already installed. You can see that the planks have an interesting texture that will look great when painted. I applied some putty to the union between the planks and the shelves to make it look like one piece. Here you can see me sanding the union. I also sanded all the last minute repairs. I did a final hand sanding with 180 grit, paying attention to any detail that may appear later in the paint. I did my final sanding with 240 grit. Now, moving the piece inside, it is time to paint. I chose bare paint this time, and the color is Studio Clay. I applied the paint with a brush and a foam roller. I liked the color a lot. It is very creamy and warm.
Remember I told you about those details appearing with the paint? Well, here they were. I mean, nothing serious, but some scratches and gouges that made my life miserable. If I flipped something, I want it to be as perfect as possible. So I applied some wood filler and sanded it well. I applied a total of three coats, sanding lightly in between. The shelves had some decorative metal corners. I will be reusing them. I started cleaning them with some soft scrub cleaner to remove all the grease and grime stuck in them. They look really bad, even after cleaning them. So I spray painted them in gold. What a difference! I painted the back in black. Some people do nothing to the back of the pieces. I think it is more professional to do it. I did my final sanding with 400 grit before applying a mixture of satin and gloss poly as my top coat. Let's remember how this piece looked before. And here it is now. It has a sort of farmhouse vibe, and it can be used as a bookshelf, entry table, bar, etc. I hope you liked the transformation. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.